But just watch it. Yeah, that's all of it. That's all it is. Um, if you re- if you realize, if you look at all different religions, pretty much centered, and it's all pertains to somebody ahead or above. So in reality, we're all religions are just a different form someone came up with that people are um, that are comfortable with that the idea that it, I don't know if I'm explaining it right. They, um, it it's their form of way of of like you go you go with your friends to the movies or, um, and you hang out with certain people. Well, that's the same way with religion is the. Okay. Am I saying it right? No. No, that was that was good. I mean, so that's why I don't push anyone to the Christian faith. I put it this way: each religion says they have the truth. The question is, which one does? How about none of them? Well, how about, how about just looking at the fruit of the individuals and, just, and making your own choice? If you see fruit that's Well, that would let the Christians out, wouldn't it, now? The way, the way that, well, not all of them. There, there are, still, there are still a few that do exemplify what Christ taught. Oh, yeah. The problem is... The, the, the main problem in the Christian church is that everybody wants to make Christians in their own image rather than saying, okay, God created you different than, that, than me. I mean, your beard is different, your fingerprints are different, so why, does, so why should I try to make you fit into a mold that God didn't create you for? God created a mold for me, created a mold for you, created a mold for you, and it's when we try to be something we're not that we find it difficult Oh boy, yeah, that's good, huh? Yeah. It'd be like you wouldn't want me being a doctor and operating on you right now because I have no concept of how to do an operation. Exactly. I mean, I can stitch you up, but that's about it. Yes. And, and also, I don't know if this is relating to it, but people, I guess it's the same of what you're saying, is that people try to do something that, and they don't understand why they can't, they can't do it. It's just because you're not. It's just not you, you know. Like, um, I'm really good with editing, but for some, you know, some odd reason, I I can do cameras, but I'm not. It's it's just not my. It's not what you enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also something that I probably never will be superb. Like John Blackwell, superb with audio. I know about audio, I can, you know, improve my skills, but I'm not gonna, ever going to be the best, like, John. Because <laughs> it's just not my thing. Right? <laughs> Where I'm a, what they call a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. I know enough to function in a lot of different fields. Yeah. I've done everything from private investigation work, firemen, mm. uh, ship's hands. Well, that's Carpenter, ins- plumber, heating and air, a little bit of everything. Private investigator, that's pretty cool. Not really. No? The, the, the most dangerous my job ever was, was I was following a guy in my Volkswagen, which was having problems, not knowing that the wife told the husband that I'm having you followed. And, uh, You're what? You're having a what? Yeah, she, and she got mad with him and told her husband that he was being followed instead of, you know, so... You know, oh, like, they're not supposed to do that. No. To Could do you that. pass me the small pot? Is there some tea left in there? Especially yeah. a guy that's three times my size. Okay. Oh, that's cool. It would be okay if he'd been a small guy? Uh, well, oh, if I'm going to fight some somebody, tea. I'd rather fight somebody my size than somebody three oh. times my size. Do you guys want some... Uh, some... Uh, organic cake. Organic cake? Okay. You mean, you've been holding out on the organic... I've heard about it. Have you been, he's been holding out on the organic out. cake. Okay. Is it vegan? Yeah, it's oh, got a. It's vegan. No, no milk or eggs. I'm gonna give it to him. Oh wait, wait, wait! Why give it to me? It's <laughs> good. Because I have a friend oh. whose na- whose name is Justin, who's supposed to come wear the Circle Life T-shirt. I milk. That's why. And Justin, <coughs> Justin said to me, he told me, he said, vegan means nasty. What is that? He says if someone says to you, I have a vegan brownie. That means I have a nasty brownie. And if someone says to you, would you like a vegan muffin? That means, would you like a nasty muffin? Uh, <laughs> in, one of my, in one of my shows that I'm waiting to get uh, done, I talked to my vegan and uh, vegetarian friends to say, look, please quit calling me a murderer because I eat steak. 
I won't call you a murderer because you eat carrots. Okay. I mean, killing is killing, whether it be a plant or, or a, quote, living animal. I mean, it's all right. life. It's plants for people, too. That's right. So I won't call you guys murderers for eating your vegan food if you quit calling me a murderer for eating my oh, Burger yes. King burger. See, we know that plants are people, too. That's right. <laughs> No, the doing. It's getting hot. No, I'm. I people think I'm a vegan, but the only reason is because there's a lot of stuff that I can have, like uh, cake and stuff, because it has milk in it. Uh huh. So. I got you. I I totally don't understand the vegans, um, mm -mm. but. Well, it's kind of like the old saying about organic. If it's organic, it tastes lousy. Um, which most of the organic cereals I've eaten has usually been cardboard that I put a lot of sugar on. Really? Yeah. I don't. I what do you? What did you get? Cause I, there's some good stuff out there. That, um. Well, I, I don't. It's the stuff that a hope, uh, which is a day shelter for the homeless. They get stuff from Manor Food Banks and stuff, and one of them sometimes is organic cereals, which is fine for those who like it. But me, I'm sorry. I was. Raised to eat all that sugar, so I like my Cheerios and Honey Nut Cheerios and those type of things. Mm. Right. I just have a problem with paying more money for something that's organic than I, you know. I mean, if they can bring... I would be willing to start eating more organic if they started producing organic at a decent price. I mean, when you look at prices, it's a lot... More expensive. Well, that, that's why I don't eat it. That actually looks like it's very good. Uh, no, I don't yeah, want any yeah. of it, but I mean, it actually looks like it's actually it, it good. Tastes, it tastes I'm just sure. like carrot cake. I'm sure it oh. is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Nasty carrot cake. No. Nasty carrot cake. Nah. <laughs> we have some... We have some uh, oh, napkins? Mm -hmm. Get the napkin. Mm. There we go. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Now, I, I see that... Dark blue. There's... um. With organic, some people go overboard and get like organic ketchup or, you know, mm -hmm. that that is kind of. Oh, why is that overboard? Who would want inorganic ch ketchup? Well, the, the, the well, interesting thing is, unless you're purifying your water that you're spraying on the plants, you really there's nothing that's grown organic anymore. But if it gets natural rain, because we got acid rain. Organic means it contains carbon, right? Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, to be honest with you, I, when they say organic as far as foods and stuff, I think they're talking about, you know, not using pesticides. Yeah. Hi there. Hi there. So, so good to see you. So good to see you. So approximately how far back do you think I could set up a shotgun mic? Oh, I think no preservative either, right? Huh? How it far back like could no you set up a shotgun mic from? From somebody sitting see, in the studio like on a table so it's not in the shot and still have it be effective. I think it's weird that... How big is the shot? You can have like uh, something that normally doesn't uh, fairly tight. Just stay in two the people shelf sitting up around a little round table. Okay. Fairly close up. And putting that in your well, body, you, that's not You're going to find the shotgun good. mic to be. Well, especially it's even harder. Maybe more about the effective on every one time person. You drink something. Than on you're drinking fluoride. So you might want to use two so shotgun here you're, mics. Here you're spending all that money but, uh, to uh, eat inorganic. I mean, eat organic. You should be but at the same easily time, able to bleed it out of the shop. Okay. What, what are you working on? Your body. Oh, you're working on only the, the aspect of oh. letting you I was eat. contemplating lapel mics. The, the thing is, uh, it's they have some jingly stuff on them. I wasn't sure how much it's that would affect the lapel mics. You can put, you can put the, you damage, can put the uh, damaging to the frontal shotgun mics, which is where you see three or four feet. Oh, that's not a good idea. There's a water in the floor. Okay, um, six, so I've got six uh, feet of need be. I think it would, uh, right. I'd use, I think I'd use two, one for each person, and really point it at them. But you can uh, get it out. Uh, you can get it over. Them. You know what I mean? You can get it in, like in front or, of them. What is it? Ca it causes brain. Thank you, sir. Damage, doesn't it? Well, that's what they say, especially like, like, like let's see, like if you were the shot, if you right where you're standing, and you're a shotgun, mic, hold up your hand, all right, and and you're going to be pointing that right at me, and that would be a good. You'd be able to use that. That's okay. why you should, um, okay. if you have set up your house uh, water system, have the uh, reverse osmosis. Uh-huh. That's the best thing. Reverse osmosis? Mm -hmm. to In the water? To purify water? And it's, um, you can get it at a, um, a lumber store near you. <laughs> really? Yeah. What does it do? Um, make, does it make drinking water? Yeah, it's, it's purified water. Uh-huh. Um, 
and it doesn't use any chemicals. Uh -oh. Um, I don't. It's some type of filter, I think. It's called reverse os osmosis. What's it? And you, you, if you go to like the, those uh, like, um, so organic the stores, they, they, uh, they, people probably think it's some special thing. It says reverse osmosis uh -huh. water. But you can get you can it just at the buy a system, yeah. At the lumber yard, you can get it at the lumber yard. Um, like a, the um, home improvement store. Uh huh. And is it much cheaper there? Yeah, because it's. Mm hmm Or you can get um, I think a filter. Those filters too work pretty well too. Uh huh. But. I mean, spend like I don't know how much, hundred bucks or something like that for the system. Yeah. Better than uh. Spending all that money on bottled water. Yeah. <laughs> That's something to talk about. I wish I was the person that invented that. What? Bottled water. Uh -huh. Well, I, I'd like to, since, since uh, Asheville is bottling their water, I'd like to know if they're bottling it prior to or after adding the fluoride to it. Because one of the things you don't find on bottled water is whether it tells you fluoride or not in the water. Why is that? It looks like they would have to say that, doesn't it? Maybe you'd think. Uh-huh. Yes, or like also where they're getting it from too. Does it? Do, do we assume there's there is chlorine in it or there's not? I don't know because they never tell you what the content is in the water. Chlorine doesn't seem like a good thing to be drinking. Now I understand that it kills bacteria. I understand the reason for chlorinating the water. Yeah. However, it seems like a steady diet of chlorinated water would not be healthy. Same way with the steady steady it diet would of be, fluoride. I guess it would be more healthy than the bacteria that it kills, particularly as the numbers of them increase. Uh, however, some good old well water that uh, was clean to start with seems like the best option. When I was hiking the Appalachian Trail oh, uh, in on. Pennsylvania, there was... Are you was, gone? I'll be, I may be back. Oh, you may be. There was a um, in, uh, Whiskey Springs Bottling Company, and it's along the Appalachian Trail. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm thinking when I get there, there'll be this big spring, and there'll be all these buildings around it, and there'll be bottles in the water. Yeah. What what it is, is you get there, there's this uh, PVC, uh, one inch PVC pipe coming out of a rock. All right. And the water comes out of that, and that's where they get their water. Uh huh. So, I mean, it, it was something. But it comes best, right out of the rock? Right out of the rock. Well, I like that. Yeah. At it least it comes best. right out of the rock. Oh, yeah, it was the best water I've ever had. All right. Well, there you go. There you go. You can't, you can't beat much better water than comes right out of a rock. No. Rock water. Yeah. yeah. Give me some good old rock water any day. Yes, indeed. <sighs> well, Halloween is going to be an interesting arts thing this year. Tell us about some it. People, some people are starting to decorate their yards for Halloween, oh. which, um, which I like because, um, I mean, that is part of the festival and the celebrations of uh, Halloween or um, Fall Festival. Uh -huh. Whatever you want to call it, I just wish. I hope Asheville will eventually start focusing on doing some more things during the holidays, uh -huh. especially for the homeless. It's an interesting thing that uh, when holidays come, um, certain ministries shut down for the holidays. Right. You know, it's like okay, it's holiday time. Uh, so for the homeless, it's well, it's holiday time. So it's time for y'all to fast for the day or two days. Uh -huh. uh, Certain ministries are closed where they do get their food. A little, a little prayer and fasting is good for the soul. Yeah, but maybe some of those. That, uh, I think all of us need to fast and pray every once in a while, especially to fast. Realize what we have. Um, yeah, look at me with my big fat belly. I can talk, huh? Oh, I, I'm doing pretty good. I'm still 135, 140 pounds. Mm -hmm. I don't. I only weigh twice what you weigh. <laughs> yeah, but you're taller than I am too, though. A little bit, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, well, here we go. We now, I got a question on this. Now, is this just for your show, or is this for the no, whole... No, that's for the whole, that's for the whole deal. Oh, okay, that's so this the is deal. the... Oh, so anything that's submitted has goes... In. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't pick out something that was made up just for my show. No, yeah. this was what was this... this uh, uh, distributed among the producers, and, and we are, uh, and, and, and I'm trying, I'm trying to as best I can, um, you know, go by this guy, the guidelines, and okay. and uh, and um, so um, so that's why, and I thought it would be fun 
to uh, you see to to uh, to say, oh no no no, now we have to do this. You know, <laughs> it's more it's more fun on it's more fun on uh, um, on Thursdays because it changes mid show. All right, we have we will have some more tea. So for those okay. who for those who will drink uh, some more tea. So I wonder where I wonder where the false prophet and the prophet's going to fit on this thing. Well, first of it, some of it would fit on the First Amendment. Is that you and Troy? Inspirational. No, that's actually well. Troy has been producing it for me oh. until I got my membership. See, I thought maybe Troy would be the false prophet and you would be the prophet, or or vice versa. I was trying to figure out who was who. And... No, well, we did it the, uh, when Troy brought the idea about the false prophet, spelled P R O F I T. Mm -hmm. It really hit because we live in a society that lives off a false prophet. That's we, true, don't we, though? Yeah, we think we're gaining, but when you, all right, when I started work, I made $2.15 $2 an hour. That oh. was minimal wage when I started working. Really? Where, it, where, where, how old are you? Um, 52. Okay. Now, back then, I could rent an apartment. For $35 a month. Yeah. I mean, I, I could actually live on my income on minimal wage. Now... Uh, an example, back then, you could buy what was considered reasonable housing was 10000 to $50,000. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now we go, what, 40 years, 50 years, well, 40 years. Now we got what they consider low-cost housing at one hundred sixty dollars to $180,000. Okay? Where, where does the low cost come yeah, in at that like figure? A, you know, because, because a minimum wage has only gone up to, what, six-something an hour? <laughs> <laughs> I quit doing that, that made you jump, didn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, that, that time it did. And I had a feeling you were going to do that. Um, well, well, what I can understand is if, if minimum wage is not going to cl even close to the to the um, standard of our uh, that our living has. I mean, I feel I sorry for the kids today because they can't afford to buy what my parents bought. The average kid today, by the time he gets to be 50 years old, will not be owning his own home, will not be owning... Uh, yeah. Well, come on. This has been by design. This is this is not just like this is not just happened. Oh, I know. There's been yeah. a lot of hard work put in to making this system work this way. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, by I, very greedy people. Yeah. I now, love, in back in the early part of this of the past century, when there was the depression and stuff like that, uh, uh, revolution was avoided in this country by uh, instituting the New Deal uh, and, and by uh, do, doing a thing where they broke up the uh, monopolies, the trust busters, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that has systematically been done away with since then and has put us back into the condition that we were in where the common man is uh, is being exploited by the corporation and the robber barons and we're, we're right back actually probably even worse than we were we are uh, headed headlong into soup lines yeah. and where the where the common uh, American will not own property and will will work and basically sell his soul on a daily basis to the corporation oh, yeah. you know and yeah. and uh, you know I mean people need to realize that they need to look and see what was done to um, to avert this once before, uh, get busy, and if they don't realize that if they let the people who are in power now get by with what they're doing without impeaching them and stuff like that, then precedents will be set, and th there's no coming back later and saying we're impeaching you for doing something. If a precedent has been set, you can damn darn well do it. Yeah. And so then, so so then they are going to by not taking action now force our country into revolution, the only way the correction can be made. Yeah, because, and in, in, in for you lawyers out there, remember the old saying, in every revolution, get rid of the lawyers first. Mm -hmm. I mean, because they're the ones that screw up our society more than anything. They make our laws so confusing that we're required to go to lawyers just to figure out a basic law. Why wait for a revolution? Uh, I'm hoping for a revolution at this election. If they vote those three idiots back into power, then this city deserves what it's going to get. Bet me money. Oh, I know. If if it keeps to the low turnout that they did, mm -hmm. we'll see the three incumbents back in office. Mm -hmm. You'll see me back at the city council going, well, the last city council was hypocrites, but y'all voted back in. I mean, if anybody's been following the city channel uh, 
and seeing the things being said and seeing the things that are doing. Let me put it this way. You I have, consider you have what strawberry jelly hanging from the lens of your right right lens of your glasses. Oh, oh okay. I consider <laughs> I consider what the city council did by voting in partisan elections no different, folks, than when they voted and got rid of the racetrack. No different. And you know that was very racist, wasn't it? In a way, yeah. Um, I, I look at it this way. When, when they voted and got rid of the racetrack because of River Link, that city council that existed back then didn't exist no more. They got voted out. And I think that if the, unless the people of this city want to have the most ugliest looking city, because, I mean, think about it. You got now another high rise that's going to be built, and they, because they stayed under a certain guideline, they didn't have to bring it to the city council. And from the picture I saw, it's going to make that area look sick. Mm -hmm. And once you put a high-rise up, the only way you can cover a high-rise up is to build more high-rises. Mm -hmm. The only way you can cover a high-rise is to build more build more high-rises. High well, well, and where are they going to put this high-rise? Is this going to be on Maryland oh, Avenue? Uh, is that the one you're talking about? No, this one's going to be uh, right where the old Chamber of Commerce was. Oh, and by the way, oh. I found out I was wrong. It was the Windsor that they were talking about. That, you know, But like I said, here we go again. City puts... Well, nine, now, we, we put a lot, on the, uh, particularly on this show, we put a lot of uh, importance on accuracy of... Information. Yeah. So I had just had the name of the oh, when 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 the could I always get the Windsor and the other place mixed up, and it's the Windsor that's going to that was sold and it's going to and is now kicking out the residents so that they can make it into a hotel again. So the Windsor is going to to become gentrified. That, yeah, that, that is yeah. hilarious. The uh, yeah. the the old uh, house of prostitution by the highway. Uh, down the road uh, became a high dollar condominium. Yeah. Uh, sometime back, and the, I don't I don't know if they've actually sold units in there or what the story yeah, is, but have. but the lo but the locals just laugh their butts off every oh, time they, they they look at that place. You know that. Now, yeah, I can't tell the say the name of what it what what it used to be called in the uh, on the streets. Uh huh. But uh, back before they did that, everybody knew if you wanted to buy crack cocaine or if you wanted to find. A lady of the evening, you went to that certain motel. That's right. That is the interesting it, thing it, is it I was, was... It was well known for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't do any of the demolition of it or anything like that, but I wonder how much uh, cocaine would have probably been found in that building just by scraping it off the walls. Uh, probably plenty. That's the, the speculation has been that there would have been plenty. Yes, it is. So there we go, and... Uh, this is this is the final roll, and we'd like to thank all of our funders, all our fine funders, like uh, this is our band dot com, and Randini because uh, he called us up and, and he sent me pictures. Next week I'm going to try to bring some of the pictures with me he sent to me from his va vacation where he and the kids have been doing stuff, and uh, they went to the to where the Indians used to live up in the caves and stuff, and up in Colorado or out that way and. And they were going today, I think, to the Grand Canyon. So uh, uh, we'll be seeing some of those. Maybe if I get them on a disc and bring them in next week. Uh, that's our that's our logo right there. This is you you you're watching an extension of Anarchy Television, the Mad Scientist Tea Party. And if you need to get in touch with with me for any reason, there is the post office box my friends my friends yes indeed indeed uh-huh and that's the way it is this is the portion of the mad scientists tea party where we engage the warp drive and different things let me see i've got to do away with that let's see if it did da, 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 da. i think it did and this is when we go oh, yes. when we say happy trails, trails to there we you go. until we meet again <laughs> and, the trails. and and uh may may every may uh May everybody, yeah, may everybody, may everybody have 
a good a psychedelic uh, weekend oh, like this that. weekend. Yeah. You like that? You like yeah. my, you like my psychedelic out there? Yeah. Uh -huh. I can I can put up oh. some real psychedelic, can't I? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. There we go. That's that's right. We can do it in several different ways. We can do it this way too. Where uh, oh, how's that? Well, okay. uh, there we go. Keep just keep waving, kids. Okay. Just keep waving. There you go. Nothing like some good old psychedelia. <laughs> and get one of these shirts at a store near you. Whoa! Oh, yes. Bye bye. bye, -bye. And you, you come jump come, come to the tea party. If you are a member of URTV, come yes. to have a cup of tea and you too can be a Hindu god. That's right. That's right. That's the way we like it. Uh huh. And um Hey, you ever thought about going going with a blue cover over this? Hmm. We've thought about a lot of things. We often think about things. Yeah, see. Yeah, see, we think about things, sure we do. We think about a lot of things. What kind of things do you think we think about? Yes, we think, we think okay, about. Okay, so you can zoom I in. I get to do that, yeah, okay. Bye bye, say, bye. everybody said bye bye. bye. And, bye. and uh, be sure and tune in next week, four o'clock, tease at four on Thursdays and Fridays. Oh, that's, oh, right. oh, that's good, that's oh, good. Like Keep that. doing that, you need to juggle, dude. Yeah, I'll bring you some know? juggling stuff. Yeah, you go. Yeah, there you there go. You go. I think, I think you found your calling right there. Oh, that, I just, to that adds a whole that whole adds a whole new dimension to it, yeah, doesn't it? That's it good. Does. We like that. Yeah, we should. We need. To, we need a game of ping pong. Oh yeah. You know? <laughs> I played ping pong on acid. You should want to right. play that acid, please. All right. Because these trails are stinging. Exactly I don't know why the thought. switcher hasn't switched, but I think somehow that uh, there he goes. That's nice. There we go. Yeah, are we still on the I, you know, I doubt it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Revelations, DVD, D Revelations, oh, okay. revealing the revealing. truth. What do you think? Uh, was that a good show? Did you enjoy yeah, that? I, I enjoyed it. It's a good one, wasn't it? Yeah. Troy's going to get mad at me for stealing his his co-host, you know what I mean? What am I doing? i got to push a button. i got to push the 